The engineering war between American Vibe 8s and European turbocharged engines has been raging for over 50 years, and the winner will determine the future of automotive performance forever. What most people don't realize is that this battle goes far deeper than just displacement versus forced induction. It's a clash of two completely different philosophies about what makes an engine great. By the end of this video, you'll understand why American engineers still swear by pushrod 5.8s while Europeans obsess over complex turbocharged four-cylinders, and more importantly, which approach is actually superior for different types of driving. But first, we need to understand the fundamental difference that started this war in the first place. American engine philosophy can be summed up in four words. Bigger, simpler, more reliable. This isn't just marketing speak, it's an engineering doctrine that shaped an entire automotive culture and continues influencing modern engine design today. The foundation of American engine design stems from unique conditions that existed nowhere else in the world. America had abundant, cheap gasoline, vast highway systems perfect for cruising, and a cultural preference for effortless power delivery. The saying, there's no replacement for displacement, has long been a cornerstone of American automotive culture. American manufacturers like General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler built their reputations on engines that prioritized raw torque production over technological complexity. The classic American Vi-8 represents this philosophy perfectly. Engines like the Chevrolet LS series, Ford Windsor family, and Chrysler's legendary 318 and 340 small blocks emphasize large displacement, naturally aspirated power delivery, and robust construction that can handle decades of abuse. With the camshaft inside the block, pushrod engines are typically shorter and smaller than OHC engines, making them a great fit for tight engine bays or classic muscle car swaps. This compact design isn't just about packaging, it's about creating engines that are fundamentally simple and reliable. The pushrod valve train represents the heart of American engine philosophy. While European engines were adopting complex overhead cam systems with multiple timing chains and variable valve timing, American engineers stuck with proven pushrod designs that featured fewer moving parts, simpler maintenance procedures, and unmatched durability. The cam in a pushrod is located within the engine, resulting in a lower center of gravity than the cam on top design of OHC engines. American engineers prioritize torque production at low RPMS, creating engines that feel powerful from idle. Pushrod engines are known for delivering strong torque at low RPMs, making them ideal for American driving conditions with frequent stop-and-go traffic, highway cruising, and towing applications. This approach suited American driving perfectly. Long interstate highways favored engines that could cruise effortlessly at highway speeds without working hard. Cheap gasoline made fuel economy a secondary concern compared to reliability and performance. The result was engines known for longevity and ease of repair, even if they weren't the most fuel-efficient or technologically advanced. The American philosophy extended beyond just engine internals. These engines were designed to be serviced by any mechanic in any small town across America with basic tools. Oil changes, spark plug replacements, and routine maintenance procedures were standardized and simplified. This created a virtuous cycle where American engines became more reliable because they were easier to maintain properly. But here's what most people miss about American engine design. It wasn't just about making things simple for simplicity's sake, it was about creating engines that could handle the brutal conditions of American driving while lasting for hundreds of thousands of miles with minimal specialized maintenance. The European Counter-Revolution – Efficiency Through Complexity European engine philosophy developed under completely different constraints and priorities, creating a technological approach that seemed almost alien to American engineers. Where Americans saw bigger displacement as the solution, Europeans saw it as the problem. European engine development was shaped by three critical factors that barely existed in America. Extremely high fuel costs, strict emissions regulations, and different driving conditions that favored high RPM performance over low-end torque. According to automotive engineering data from BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi, European manufacturers focus on extracting maximum power from smaller displacements while maintaining superior fuel economy. This wasn't just an engineering challenge, it was a survival requirement in markets where gasoline could cost three times more than in America. Turbocharging became the cornerstone of European engine design decades before American adoption. European engineers realized that forced induction could provide V8-like power from four- and six-cylinder engines while maintaining better fuel economy. This technology allowed compliance with increasingly strict European emission standards while satisfying performance demands that European drivers still expected. 
European engines typically feature complex overhead cam valve trains with variable valve timing systems. These designs optimize power delivery across broader RPM ranges and improve emissions compliance, but they require significantly more sophisticated manufacturing and maintenance procedures. Technologies like direct injection, variable geometry turbochargers, and sophisticated engine management systems became standard in European engines years before American adoption. The focus on efficiency led to innovations like cylinder deactivation, start-stop systems, and hybrid integration that American manufacturers initially resisted. But here's where European philosophy gets really interesting. European manufacturers invested heavily in diesel technology, creating high-performance diesel engines that Americans rarely experienced. This technological focus created engines that were more complex, but offered superior fuel economy and dramatically lower CO2 emissions. DOHC engines have a much larger range of revs, allowing them to hit red lines higher than any pushrod configuration could dream of. European engines are designed for higher RPM operation, reflecting European driving conditions with more varied terrain, higher speed limits on autobahns, and a performance-oriented driving culture that rewards spirited driving. This approach created engines that reward spirited driving while maintaining efficiency during normal operation. European drivers expected their engines to pull strongly through multiple gears on mountain passes, maintain high speeds on unlimited autobahns, and still deliver excellent fuel economy during city driving. The complexity wasn't accidental, it was intentional. European engineers accepted maintenance complexity in exchange for performance and efficiency benefits that simply couldn't be achieved through displacement alone. Displacement philosophy. The big versus small debate. One of the clearest differences between American and European engines lies in displacement. American V8s typically range from 5.0 to 7.0 liters, with some exceeding 8.0. The philosophy was simple. More displacement equals more torque. These engines delivered effortless acceleration at low RPMs, contributing to their reputation for reliability and longevity. A 6.2-liter LS3 V8 could produce 430 horsepower while barely revving past 3,000 RPM. Europeans, constrained by high fuel costs and strict emissions, pursued the opposite approach. Engines from 1.0 to 3.0 liters, often turbocharged, produced similar output with far better efficiency. A modern 2.0-liter turbo 4 can rival a V8's performance while saving fuel and reducing emissions. Smaller engines also improved handling by lowering weight. The divide reflected different conditions. America had cheap gas and looser regulations, while Europe had to innovate for efficiency. Typically, an OHV engine needed more displacement than a DOHC engine to achieve the same power due to breathing limits. Today, convergence is clear. Americans now build smaller turbo engines like Ford's EcoBoost, while Europeans sometimes embrace larger displacements for performance, such as Mercedes-AMG's 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8. Yet the cultural philosophies remain. Torque-driven power for America, high RPM versatility for Europe. Forced induction, the turbocharging divide. Turbocharging highlights one of the biggest philosophical differences. Europeans embraced it in the 1970s as a response to fuel crises and strict emissions laws. Brands like BMW, Mercedes, and Audi perfected advanced systems with variable geometry turbos, precise wastegate controls, and sophisticated boost management. These engines delivered strong power-to-weight ratios, high efficiency, and broad RPM performance. Americans resisted sticking with naturally aspirated V8s for reliability and simplicity. When they did experiment with turbos in the 1980s, early failures damaged consumer trust, leaving a stigma around forced induction. To most U.S. buyers, turbos meant heat, complexity, and expensive maintenance. Today, that's changed. Ford's EcoBoost engines show how U.S. manufacturers now use turbocharging to downsize while maintaining V8-like torque. American tuning emphasizes low-end torque and linear delivery, keeping the familiar feel drivers expect. Europeans, meanwhile, continue pushing high-output, rev-happy turbo setups that reward spirited driving. Modern materials and management systems have solved early reliability issues, making turbos a global standard, but the cultural differences in tuning remain. Valvatrain Technology – Pushrods versus Overhead Cams Valvatrain design reflects another philosophical divide. American V8s often use pushrods, OHV with a single camshaft in the block operating valves through rods and rocker arms. 
The design is compact, lighter, and easier to service, producing strong low RPM torque and fitting well in trucks and muscle cars. Europeans favored overhead cams, SOHC and DOHC, placing camshafts directly above valves for more precise timing and higher rev potential. This allowed advanced systems like variable valve timing and multi-profile cams, but added complexity and cost. Pushrods excel in simplicity, packaging, and long-term durability, while OHC engines shine at high RPM breathing and horsepower. The trade-off is clear, torque and serviceability versus precision and revs. Modern convergence blurs the lines. Ford's Coyote Vive 8 uses dual overhead cams in an American engine, while some European manufacturers explore simpler designs to cut costs and improve reliability. Still, each side's traditional philosophy continues shaping how engines deliver power. Fuel Delivery Systems – Port versus Direct Injection American and European engines took different paths in fuel delivery, shaped by design priorities and regulations. U.S. manufacturers relied on port fuel injection for decades, where gasoline is sprayed into intake ports before entering the chamber. This method offers smooth power delivery, cleaner intake valves, and simple, low-cost maintenance. It works especially well with naturally aspirated engines and is forgiving of lower fuel quality. Europeans pioneered direct injection, spraying fuel directly into the chamber at high pressure. This allows precise control, higher compression ratios, leaner combustion, and improved fuel economy, crucial in turbocharged applications. Direct injection maximizes efficiency and performance, but brings challenges. Carbon buildup on valves, costly high-pressure pumps, and complex diagnostics. While Americans initially avoided these issues, modern engines now combine both systems. Dual injection provides direct injection's precision with port injection's self-cleaning action. This convergence reflects Europe's early leadership in efficiency and America's focus on reliability and serviceability. Emissions Regulations – EPA versus Euro Standards Different regulations on each side of the Atlantic drove divergent engineering paths. In the US, the EPA historically targeted pollutants like NOx, CO, and hydrocarbons, while separate CAFE rules governed fuel economy. This let manufacturers keep larger V8s alive by relying on catalytic converters and electronic management to clean exhaust gases rather than redesigning combustion itself. Europe's Euro standards combined emissions, fuel economy, and CO2 limits into one framework. This forced engineers to address efficiency at the source through downsizing, turbocharging, and advanced fuel systems. Instead of cleaning emissions after combustion, European engines had to be inherently cleaner and more efficient driving innovation in direct injection and high compression designs. The result was two distinct paths. Americans optimized big engines for compliance, while Europeans built small, efficient engines to meet strict rules. Today, global standards are converging. Americans are embracing downsized turbo engines, while Europeans are adopting American-style durability and serviceability. Still, decades of regulatory differences left lasting cultural and technological imprints that continue to shape expectations. Maintenance Philosophy Simplicity versus Sophistication American and European engines reflect very different maintenance philosophies shaped by culture and infrastructure. U.S. manufacturers emphasize simplicity, accessibility, and owner serviceability. Components were easy to reach, fasteners were standardized, and basic tools were enough for most jobs. Oil changes, spark plugs, and routine services were cheap and straightforward. This approach kept ownership costs low, boosted resale values, and reflected a culture where many drivers performed maintenance themselves or relied on independent mechanics. Europe, by contrast, accepted complexity in exchange for efficiency and performance. Engines often required specialized tools, trained technicians, and dealer service. Maintenance intervals were longer but far more expensive, thanks to systems like variable valve timing, direct injection, and turbocharging that demanded expert care. European buyers tolerated higher costs for advanced technology and superior driving dynamics. Globalization is narrowing the gap. American engines are adopting more complex systems while striving to stay serviceable, while Europeans are improving durability and reliability. Still, each side's philosophy continues to shape long-term ownership experiences. Performance Characteristics Torque versus Horsepower American and European engines prioritize different performance traits shaped by culture and engineering philosophy. American V8s emphasize torque, especially at low RPMs. 
Large displacement pushrod engines deliver immediate pulling power from idle, making them ideal for stop-and-go traffic, highway cruising, and towing. This torque-heavy approach gives drivers strong acceleration without needing high revs, which is why US transmissions and gearing are optimized to keep engine speeds low while still delivering maximum power. European engines, by contrast, focus on horsepower across broader RPM ranges. Turbocharged designs build power progressively, encouraging drivers to rev higher and experience strong performance through multiple gears. This suits Europe's varied terrain, Autobahn speeds, and performance-oriented driving culture. High-revving OHC engines combined with manual transmissions create a more engaging experience, rewarding spirited driving while maintaining efficiency in everyday use. The difference comes down to philosophy. Torque offers effortless strength, while horsepower delivers excitement at speed. Horsepower is torque multiplied by RPM, and Europeans maximize it by sustaining torque at higher revs. Though modern development shows convergence, with Americans adopting turbocharged power curves and Europeans adding low-end grunt, these long-standing preferences still shape tuning today. The modern convergence, learning from each other. Contemporary engine development shows clear convergence as American and European manufacturers borrow from one another to meet global demands for performance and efficiency. Shared emission standards, rising fuel costs, and consumer expectations have forced both sides to adapt. American brands now embrace European technologies like turbocharging, direct injection, and advanced engine management. Ford's EcoBoost engines, GM's turbocharged 4s, and Stellantis's European-derived platforms show this shift. Yet, American engineers still emphasize durability and serviceability, ensuring engines remain accessible to mechanics and long-lasting for consumers. At the same time, European companies are adopting American strengths. BMW's modular engines, Mercedes's push for durability, and Audi's improved serviceability all reflect lessons from U.S. design. Some brands even reintroduce naturally aspirated performance engines, blending European efficiency with the visceral appeal long associated with American V8s. This convergence benefits consumers by delivering engines that combine European-style efficiency and technology with American-style robustness. Shared development platforms accelerate this trend, as manufacturers design engines capable of serving both markets simultaneously. Still, cultural and regulatory differences mean each side retains unique traits. Americans will likely continue prioritizing low-end torque and ease of maintenance, while Europeans will push technological sophistication and efficiency. The future lies not in declaring a winner, but in combining the strengths of both traditions to build engines that reflect global needs while honoring their distinct heritage. 2. Philosophies – One Future The differences between American and European engines reflect decades of distinct engineering philosophies, regulatory environments, and cultural preferences. Americans prioritized power, simplicity, and reliability, while Europeans focused on efficiency, technology, and performance across broad RPM ranges. Thanks for watching, and remember, there's no single right answer in engine design, only different solutions to different problems. Whether you're team displacement or team forced induction, the engineering excellence on both sides of the Atlantic continues driving automotive innovation forward.